Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be filming my September favorites. I literally feel so autumnal and also very warm in this jumper, but you'll see that a little bit later on. So this video might be quite a chatty one, so I'd grab a cup of tea or a hot chocolate or something like that just to settle down with this video, get cozy, because that's what my videos are gonna be now. They're gonna be cozy. So you're gonna need your hot chocolate, your tea, so pause the video, go and get one, little snack, come and sit down, and we're gonna get on with the video. So uh, let's get on with the video. So I'm gonna begin this video by starting off with makeup. The first product that I'm gonna talk about is this powder here, which is from Poundland. Uh, this is the Makeup Gallery Pressed Powder and it's in the shade Translucent Number no. One. It does say it contains vitamin E, so I don't really know, you know, what that kind of means, if that, you know, is a gimmick or something like that. But this is honestly the best powder I've ever tried. It's quite weird to put a powder in a favorites video, but I really, really like this one. I have talked about it in some previous videos in terms of my makeup videos, but the pigmentation is so high. I actually feel like it does add some coverage. Look, you can see that it does add some coverage to your skin whilst also remaining translucent at the same time. So basically what I mean by translucent is that it's not gonna, you know, add color or anything like that, but it does kind of smooth out your skin. It's really, really weird, but it mattifies so well. And for somebody that has oily skin, me then this is honestly perfect perfect for that and i could not recommend this enough for just a pound from poundland so go and check out some products from poundland i then have this product which i have mentioned before in a video ages and ages ago but i wanted to talk about it again because it has been a favorite sort of for this month so i thought you know despite talking about it before let's do it again this is from natural collection and it's the natural collection bronzing pearls and these are in the shade tropical tan and you can see they're just kind of like little balls you get your brush and you just kind of apply it as bronzer i've got it on my face today my makeup in terms of bronzer is quite subtle today i didn't want to apply too much onto my face but it's quite a nice product because it's almost like a two in one it adds a bit of color so it adds a little bit of a bronze color but then also at the same time it adds a little bit of shimmer so because this powder that i just mentioned is quite matte this kind of adds a little bit of glow back into your skin and i just think that's a really nice product to use and it's also really cheap because it's just from the natural collection and i then have a blusher so this blusher here is from bourgeois i'm not too sure what the shade name is i think it might be um the shade 16 but this is what the color looks like it's quite kind of a nice kind of peachy pinky sort of color and as you can see it is a little bit shimmery i'll try and see if i can swatch it um, sorry, it's hard to show, but it is kind of peachy. And I really like the fact that it's peachy because I'm the kind of person that really does prefer kind of peachy blushes on the skin. I feel like that looks so much more natural. It blends in with your bronzer, the rest of your makeup, and it just looks a lot kind of more blended. I don't know often a really striking pink blush can look quite fake so i like to use one like this i do have to say though the pigmentation of this is awful when i first got it the pigmentation was quite good but as you go on sort of it get develops this layer on top which you know the pigmentation is just not great so you have to really keep swiping but you can build it up and that just means that you're not going to apply too much blusher in one go so this is a really really nice one and i would recommend trying one of these i actually only bought this for 50p from tesco because it was reduced so that was that was nice it smells like an old woman's perfume if you know what that would smell like and then finally on the makeup front, I have this Max Factor. I think it's like a lip balm and I believe it's in the shade two. And basically my auntie Jen gave me this just probably, uh, just probably because she didn't want it anymore or something like that. But it's basically like a little lip balm. It's like a little lip balm. I hope, you know, you can see that. Um, but it's just a clear gloss and it's really, really quite nice and you can see the shimmer on my hand from just applying that and what i've been doing with this is i've been applying it onto my lips as soon as i've done the rest of my makeup and then i'll apply my lipstick over the top of this and this just means that the lipstick that you put over the top just looks a little bit more kind of rich it looks more glossy it looks a lot nicer and it's also moisturizing your lips at the same time so i've really liked doing um and applying this and it also makes your lipsticks that you apply on top of this a bit more pigmented which i think is obviously a good thing 
So yeah, that's a good one. Now for skincare, and I'm gonna also include kind of body care in there as well. I have this, which is a little natural minerals with aloe vera deodorant. So it looks like this, and it's basically a roll on deodorant. It claims to have 48 hours protection. Personally, I use this in the morning and in the night because I wanna smell fresh during the day and I wanna smell fresh during the night. And I really, really like this one. I've been converted from normal kind of spray deodorants, aerosols, to um, these ones. These are better for the environment than the spray-on ones. I never thought that I would get a roll on one because I thought, oh, they're very unhygienic. But actually, they're not that bad. I quite like this one and it says it's quite natural. It has that really sort of natural scent to it that's not too overpowering, but it does honestly protect you from any like body odors, anything like that, like you don't smell throughout the day. So I would highly recommend, you know, just trying one of these cheap ones from Lidl because it does work and it smells really natural and works really, really well. I then have these, which are actually from Poundland. These are six deep cleansing charcoal nose pore strips. So you get six in here. Personally, I absolutely love using these. It looks like this, so you bring them out like this. And I might show me using one of these like in a vlog or something like that in the future. But they're honestly so, so good value for money for a pound for six. You can go into boots and these will be about six pounds, seven pounds, maybe even eight pounds for the same amount so for six or even less and that's quite a lot of money for just like a nose strip so go into poundland get six for a pound i use once one of these a week you just kind of put it on your nose leave it for 15 minutes yeah you apply these to a wet nose that's it so you wet your nose um you then leave them for 15 minutes until it's dried pull it off and it gets rid of any blackheads it gets rid of any dry skin dead skin impurities makeup anything that's kind of around your nose area so yeah using these once a week is really good and because it's only a pound you'd only need to buy this every six weeks and that's just a pound every six weeks so that's really really good and then i also have this which is a face mask from alia skin i think that's how you pronounce it and this is their pink perfect clay mask it looks like this and inside it is also pink it's a oh my god it's a really nice coloured pink as well, quite kind of a naturally coloured pink. I have done a video for this brand. I have done a video for this brand. It should already be up on my channel. In fact, I think it's my previous video. So I'll link that down below if you want to go and watch that and see my full review on this product that was kindly sent to me. But I actually really do quite like this product and it has become a favourite because I've been excited to use it. I won't ramble on about it too much because obviously I spoke about it in that video, but it smells so nice. It smells so fresh so clean when i put it on my skin i can honestly feel it at work it doesn't sting but it just feels like it's doing something it's amazing quality the thickness is great and then when you actually wash it off you can feel such a difference comparing this to my other face masks this is 100 percent the best one that i've actually had and i'm not just saying that because they sent it to me but, but i am actually honest when it comes to products being sent to me but this one honestly does beat my other ones, definitely. So I just thought I'd mention that. If you're still drinking your tea, good job. I've now got my fashion favorite of the month. Thought I'd just mention it, this coat here, this jacket kind of coat thing, absolutely love it. I only bought it the other day, but trust me, it can be a favorite. I started uni last week on Monday and I saw this girl and she was wearing this jacket and I was literally like, oh my God, where did you get your jacket from? Love it. She said new look. So literally that same day I went into new look, looked for it and I saw it. And then I think two days later, I bought it. Technically, I didn't buy it. My mum bought it, but I am paying her back because I didn't actually have money on me or anything like that. And I absolutely love it. It's really, really fluffy. It's really long. I got completely oversized. I got a size 14 because I wanted it to be super oversized. And it's just so, so cosy and nice. And this is honestly perfect as a winter coat because it's so thick. Um, so I won't show you kind of like the full thing because i am going to be doing fashion videos for autumn coming up very very soon so stay tuned and you'll see this coat in there trust me so uh, yeah loving this then we've got food favorites so first of all mango chutney who doesn't love mango chutney 
probably quite a lot of people but this is what the bottle looks like i am actually obsessed with mango chutney i don't know what it is but i absolutely love it every time i go to an indian restaurant which isn't that often let's be real probably like once a year and you have your papa doms and then you all your little di different dips and things like that i got this uh, i get so excited for the mango chutney that is what i am there for absolutely love it i just do I'll put it with any meal, like I don't, but I could, like I would literally put this on toast and eat it, like it's so nice, so uh, yeah. Then this is going to be a weird one, but this is some barbecue seasoning, and this is what it looks like. It's just a little bottle from Tesco, and it's a barbecue seasoning, so you add it to food and things like that. I personally, I personally have been cooking three meals a week for my family and my dad actually gives me a little bit of money for doing that because it just saves my mum some time when she gets home from work and I have been adding this to quite a lot of the dishes that I've been cooking and it's so nice like it adds that little extra something like that little extra flavour I add it to chilli con carne spaghetti bolognese um lasagna like you can add it to anything that's kind of like a sauce and it just adds that extra sort of flavor and that extra something that i think is really really nice and yeah i've been loving using this so when this runs out i'll get mum to get another one because it's really nice i don't know why it's kind of formed rocks in there um but it shouldn't have done so i can break them apart soon and finally for food favorites i don't have them on me because i ate them all but I did mention them in my What I Ain't A Day video, which I'll link that down below if you want to go and see that, sort of showing what I eat in a day. I did mention about these sugar-free biscuits. Oh my God, I absolutely love them and I'm obsessed with them. They're from Tesco's. They're down at like a really random aisle. It's not like your usual food aisle. It's like a bits and bobs, a random like light bulb aisle. Um, but they were down there and honestly, I love them. They're sugar-free. And some of the other ones within that kind of brand and range are no added sugar, but they taste so good. Like, I would say they're probably equal to a normal biscuit, but that still means that one biscuit's got sugar in and the other one doesn't, and they both taste great. So I've been eating so many of those, and... Uh very happy about it so yeah love them would go and recommend um buying them now we get to the part of the video where we talk about event favorites of the month so i've recently started uni i had my first week that was definitely a good part of this month because i was a little bit nervous to go you know not that nervous to go what the heck is that oh it's a flower um not that nervous to go but i'm very very glad that i had a really really good time i made some good friends already uh that are on my course i've got to know the uni a little bit more i think i'm going to join a society but i am going to talk about that a little bit more probably in a separate video but yeah i'm really really happy about how uni's going um i also went to the cinema with my mum brother and dad and we watched king of thieves at the cinema that's a film by the way if you haven't heard um it's about some kind of older men that like some kind of pensioners really um that t try and steal a lot of diamonds and things like that but yeah go and um research that if you want to know exactly what that's about but that was a really good film and i did actually go and watch that again with some of my friends matt ben and steph and we went to Casper's, a dessert restaurant beforehand for watching that. So that was a good one as well. So three things there. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I'm sure there is, but you know, forget full memory here. Um, YouTuber favourites. I have really been enjoying Sofda's nails. Sorry, I'm just going to look on my phone. Really enjoying Sofda's nails video. She does like makeup -y videos. I'll link these YouTubers down below, by the way, if you want to go and um, obviously watch them because you know, that will help you out. Oh, Anastasia Kingsworth. Her channel used to be called Floral Princess, but it's now Anastasia Kingsworth. She, her videos are really, she's upped her game basically. I've loved those videos of people like, where they film like staying in my house for 24 hours without my parents knowing or staying in a subscriber's house for 24 hours. Like they don't actually do it for 24 hours, which I find just a bit stupid, but I really enjoy those kind of videos and she's been doing a lot of videos like that. They've been really, really good. And I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. I don't wanna talk about too many. Hello, Hello. I'm filming an awesome video, which Hello. is why I've got my awesome lipstick ah. on. Ah, I just wondered why you're all dressed up ready to go out in the snow. Yeah, it's really cold. Yeah, I know. She went to little. Ah. Do you like my awesome background? Yeah. It's cute. 
I'll go up and meet her then, she's definitely a little issue. Oh, uh, I think so. Bye! Bye! Right, my next favourite, TV favourite without a shadow of a doubt is The Great British Bake Off. Absolutely love it, love the programme, it inspires me to start baking. Probably not the stuff that they bake on the show because have you seen what they're doing? Like they've done wagon wheels, they've done, like they've done a lot of weird stuff. So if you don't watch the Bake Off, you know, we can't be friends. Can I just point that out firstly? And secondly, they also do the Bake Off Extra Slice, which comes on on a Friday. So that's actually a really good programme. It's really funny and I love that like, this year is the best year for Bake Off Extra Slice. It's kind of reviewing what's happened on the programme and making it you know funny it's basically a comedical type thing but i actually think personally i might prefer that to the actual program it's really really good so um if you watch the bake-off but you don't watch the extra slice i would recommend you know giving it a watch so that is everything for my september favorites it was super duper chatty but if you had a drink with you like i said at the beginning then we would have managed to get through it so thanks for watching this video give the video a thumbs up and please do remember to subscribe because there's going to be a lot of autumn content on my channel so you know just you wait anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon goodbye